BTS experiences racism, James Charles is accused of grooming a teenager once again, and people think that Bryce may have cheated on Addison. Hey guys, this is Team T, the show where you can get the latest news about the hottest celebs, plus a little bit about what's going on in the world. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. Make sure you guys comment down below any more suggestions, any, and DM me on um, social media, you know, Instagram and TikTok for any other tea that you have to spill that you'd like for me to talk about. Let's get right into the video. So basically, there was this German radio show where the guy was just spewing so much hatred and racism towards BTS. He compared them to the coronavirus, which you guys know, there have been a lot of people being anti-Asian towards Asian people ever since the coronavirus started. I mean, it was happening before, but since the coronavirus started, it's just been shooting up a lot more, you know, because people are like, a few people are blaming Asian people for why the coronavirus is here in the first place. Just take a look at everything that's been going down. Was? Wogegen es hoffentlich bald ebenfalls eine Impfung gibt. Äh, nichts gegen Südkorea. Man kann mir jetzt nicht Fremdenfeindlichkeit unterstellen. Nur weil diese Boyband aus Süd ich habe ein Auto aus Südkorea. Ich habe die geilste Karre überhaupt. Ich, ich, ich fahre ein südkoreanisches Auto. Und was hast du mit bist sechs Zylinder Doppelturbolader, Allradantrieb, jeden Schnickschnack und 270 Höchstgeschwindigkeit. Korea äh, Rules, also Südkorea. Aber BTS zum Beispiel. Und BTS, ja, die haben jetzt tatsächlich eine, eine MTV unplugged bei einer Boyband unplugged allein das ist ja schon äh, paradox ja und dann geben diese diese kleinen Pisser Was? auch noch damit an dass sie von Coldplay Fix You gecovert haben wo ich sage das ist Gotteslästerung das sage ich als Atheist das ist das ist Frevel nennt man das Dafür werdet ihr in Nordkorea Urlaub machen oh. in die nächsten 20 Jahre. Das war jetzt nur die Anmoderation für Fix You, aber in der Version von Coldplay, weil alles andere kann ja echt knicken. In case you missed it, this is what a German radio host had to say about BTS. Das BTS ist so wie SARS. Das ist so eine Abkürzung für irgendein Scheiß-Virus, ja, wogegen es hoffentlich bald ebenfalls eine Impfung gibt. Dafür werdet ihr in Nordkorea Urlaub machen müssen die nächsten 20. Aside from the fact that his commentary is obviously completely tone deaf, this is not about BTS for me. It's about the fact that it took something like this to spark conversation in our age. In the past year, attacks and hate crimes against the Asian community worldwide have increased so much, but where's the media coverage about that? German media just loves spreading xenophobia and contributing to the fear and hate against the Asian communities by using headlines like this and pictures of Asians on anything that is even remotely related to COVID. In fact, anti-Asian sentiment is so normalized here that even Asian German creators themselves here on TikTok do not realize how much racism they've internalized. So they continue to make fun of their own culture and thereby contribute to normalizing the mocking and harassment of Asians. And I just want to ask, do you really not realize what you're doing or are you just so desperate for white validation? This is not just a racism problem, it's an ignorance one. Tan Sonyeon then once again victims of racism. On the 23rd, BTS performed a cover version of Coldplay's Fix You. While they had nice things to say, this dude made racist comments, describing the performance as blasphemy and comparing BTS as some crappy virus that hopefully there will be a vaccine for soon as well. He even said they need to go to North Korea for 20 years for that cover. Then he goes, I'm not xenophobic because I drive a South Korean car. This car's made in Japan. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Something I'm very happy about is that some artists that BTS have collaborated with in the past have actually spoken up about this and defended BTS. Max has spoken up in a tweet saying, BTS is one of the harding and most humble groups in the industry. They deserve all the success they've earned. Hearing such hateful words used against them by the radio host at Bayern 3 made me sick. The hate to them and the Asian community as a whole is unacceptable. Love also tweeted, standing by my BTS brothers and everyone continuously affected by racist remarks as hurtful as what we heard on Bayern 3. No one should have to endure this and together we must stand up and stop it. And Halsey responds on her Instagram story, I am horrified to read the comments made by Matthias Matushik. Racism and xenophobia cannot be thinly viled as on-air humor, irresponsible and disgusting statements in a time where hate speech and violent behavior towards Asian communities are skyrocketing. 
This is unacceptable. I hope a better apology to BTS and the Asian communities across the world is on its way. Also, something positive for armies, which you guys already know. JK dyed his hair blue. I told you guys it wasn't purple. I told you guys it wasn't purple. Everybody can say, oh, it's actually purple. It wasn't purple, okay? I knew that straight from the beginning. Now, let's get into the Bryce Hall and Addison Ray situation. Now, everybody thinks that Bryce cheated on Addison with this girl named Donna because there have been messages that were leaked saying this girl Donna, who was allegedly there when Bryce Hall was, who was there when Bryce Hall was, and she said she slept with him. There was a post from TikTok insiders and they said they got this picture from a credible source. Donna says, I, someone with a girlfriend. The other person says, that's not bad, that's normal. First of all, what the heck, that's not. Donna says, Bryce Hall, I'm a bad person. The other person says, haha, when? Donna replies, this weekend, twice. The other person replies, in LA or Vegas? Donna replies, in Vegas. Which, Vegas was where Bryce was, which makes this even worse. A few days ago, Addison Rae had made a tweet saying, disappointed but not surprised, and then quickly deleted it. Which, some people were confused whether she was talking about Bryce or about the James Charles situation. Bryce Hall had tweeted a few days ago, I didn't cheat on Addison. Hey Bryce, I have a question. So, so yeah. fans are concerned. You know, you know, you know the fans they have to answer the question. How, how are you and Addison doing? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're chill. Like, I don't know why everybody overreacts, but until you know, we we do our own thing and say. say Anything that we say. I don't know. I feel like everybody's overreacting about stupid shit. That, so overreacting. Overthinking that, I everything. I think you were Over trying to say everything's fine until you say it's not fine. Right? Yeah. I think that's what you were going that, for. That's what I was trying you. to go for. <laughs> okay. So, look. I got off the phone. I, I called Bryce a week ago. He said none of this is true. I just got off the phone with Bryce just before I filmed this video. And again, he's saying none of this is true. And on top of it, he's going to take some legal action. But Addison Ray somewhat knows about this story, and, and, and the, the two of them are kind of like on the rocks over there. Even though I'm not their biggest fans, I do hope that things work out for them. They seem to be trying to make things work out, and let's just wish and hope for the best. James Charles really got himself into a whole freaking doozy. Yeah, once again, he was accused of grooming a kid, a minor. He was 16 years old. So basically, it was a fan who, basically it was a fan and um, James and him had added each other on Snapchat. And I guess the kid had lied about his age, saying he was 18. James started sexting him, right? And then once he started getting uncomfortable, he told James his real age. And even after he told him his real age, he, the boy says that he kept continuing to sext him. Now on James' side, he's saying that yes, he did sext him because he lied about his age, but then once he told him his real age, now he was 16, James said that he was really uncomfortable and he had unfriended him and it was the end of that. So this is part two of the James Charles story. So after sending me that first picture of his body, um, explicitly he sent me multiple after that and I'll post them now. I was getting really uncomfortable so I told him my age, I told him I'm 16, meanwhile he's 21, he's a grown man. And then he proceeds to say, oh but I didn't even get to see the, yeah, meaning my body. And after telling him like, no, like I'm not going to send it to you, he kept on asking for pictures and videos of body hair and me flexing and stuff. He proceeded to ask to FaceTime me, which I then said no to, and then I asked why. And this is what he said. It's sad to say that I can't even look up my biggest influence the same again. I've heard multiple stories about him doing this to people, but you never believe it until it happens to you. So now I'm a big believer of what James Charles does to other people, and it sucks because he has so much going for him, and he does this to himself. So the thing is for me, I'm 21, but like I said, I have the mentality of a 40 year old. Yeah. So for me, like I'm much more mentally and emotionally mature than a lot of people my age. I'm not physically attracted to older guys, which sucks. Like I would date like the absolute youngest, like 18, 19, that looks a little bit old. A 16 year old named Isaiah came forward with allegations against James Charles, saying that he sent him inappropriate pictures and also asked if he could send him videos and pictures. James put out this tweet with the statement saying that none of it was true and he said he was 18 years old. And now Isaiah has responded. He said his age has been in his TikTok bio for 11 weeks now and he's never changed that. Someone responded and said contact the police and he said I am. 
He tweeted at James saying that he was the one that blocked James and that even after James knew how old he was, he said, I wish the timeline could be sped up so that you could be 18. Zay also said that James added him on TikTok and on Instagram where it said in his bio that he was 16 years old. And you know, a lot of fans have mixed feelings because it's like they want to trust James, but it's like the kid, I feel like the kid came with a lot more evidence, you know? And James didn't really come with nothing, so we would just have to like, you know, take his word for it. And it just left a lot of fans like hurt and disappointed because this happens quite a lot. And my thing is, why does James keep sending his nudes to people that he doesn't know personally, he's never even met in real life or anything? It's like, what the crap? Like you're kind of like setting yourself up, you know? And he and it seems like he doesn't ever do background checks on these people. You'd think that from now, by now he'd know to do background checks and that he'd be smarter about this, but ju this just happens so many times. It's like, what the crap? And my thing is, why do people keep lying about their age, bro? What is the point? Why? It's like they want to like set this whole thing up so they can be able to like kind of be in the spotlight, you know? I still don't think that James should have done what he did. I feel like I feel like James is in the wrong in this one, but I also do think that like why do people keep lying about their age? Just why? And it just makes it what makes it even worse is that James still sexted him even after he told him his age allegedly. It's like what the crap? Like I don't even get this. Like, y'all, just stop lying about your age to your favorite celebrities. What the crap? And celebrities, stop texting the kids who wants to tell you their age. Look, actually look up the background of the person. Look at their bio, because I don't even get it, because people are saying that the kid's age, his real age, he put his age in his bio, which if James didn't know his age, that wouldn't even make any sense, because it would be in his bio. It's like, James, do you do background checks on the people that you, that you freaking talk to, you know? You'd think that people would do that. But I guess not, like, that it wouldn't make any sense. Right now, I just, I just don't think I can side with James right now, you know? Congratulations if you made it to the end of the video. I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway. I noticed that a lot of my fans are Stays, Armies, Duncans, Hype House fans. And so this giveaway will be for those people. I will be choosing one person to choose either one of these items. You can only pick one. You can pick one of these Charlie D'Amelio merch. You can pick one of these BTS gift packages and this Stray Kids photo card set. All you gotta do is comment down below on this YouTube video what your favorite part of the video was and how you feel about the certain subject. Make sure you put your TikTok and Instagram username in your comment. And also, I'm sorry guys, this time this giveaway will only be for Americans. TikTok didn't really give me as much money as I thought they would this month and sending things overseas is a lot more money, so I will not be able to send them overseas. Make sure you guys pay attention because this is the most important part. When I send the item to you, Amazon will need this information. So if you do want to enter the giveaway, make sure you have all of this information already. And make sure you ask your parents permission to enter the giveaway and to be able to give out this information. Because you guys know me and you guys may trust me, but your parents may not. So make sure you go over all of this with your parents. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on the little notification bell so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. Let me know what, down below what you guys think about what we talked about today. How do you feel about the, racist, the racism done towards the Asian community and BTS all the time? How do you feel about James? Like, are you on his side or the kid's side? Let me know down in the comment section below. TTYL!